What's in here? Who knows? Who knows what's in here? Whoa. I mean, I know what's in here. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, this is my birthday present you guys got me. Concrete forming going on. We got Cedric and Mark here. Final impression. We got we got we got some actual concrete people here doing some actual concrete work. We don't want to take that on after the last the last mishap with the countertop. But what we got right now is the form for our wall that's gonna step down into our sunken fire pit. So forming this out 12 inches wide. We've got footings dug in here, so it's gonna be a monolithic pour. Cedric, you gonna weld some uh, rebar in there? Yes, sir. Okay. This is gonna be locked in for justice. It's so, uh, you can see how nice and tight these forms are. We got them perfectly square. We got string lines out the wazoo here, making sure everything is nice and good. And uh, we'll get to it when uh, you know we're welding in some of that that reinforcement and all that good stuff. Alright, Cedric, I see the I see these boards got some sort of bevel on the bottom. They got oh, that's Is there the, a reason for that's that? That's the 45 for, for steps. Oh, okay. You could trowel under the form. Okay. Get the smooth finish without pulling the form and having to knock that down. Okay. So, I figured there was a reason for that. These boards are universal, brother. Yeah. <laughs> it's clean. Alright, and he's gonna show you a little trick for uh getting the inside of these forms real nice and smooth, but yeah. we'll save that Next for time. a little bit. <laughs> So we got the forms pretty much uh, temped up. I just want to get some stone into the middle here so we don't have to do as much later. We're going to have a seven and a half inch step down into sunken fire pit area. So as you can see, we got to come up a decent amount here. Just trying to do that, keep things moving. What's in here? Whoa. I mean, I know what's in here. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, this is my birthday present you guys got me. You guys do know it's my birthday, right? I mean, not today, but. Oh, yeah. We got some UFP Edge thermally modified here. Uh, I can't really even get into what we're using 100. I think there's like 110 one by four by eights. It's crazy and you're just gonna have to wait to see where these go, but it's gonna be really sick. The tongue and groove is gonna go on the front of the house. It's gonna go top of that gable and below that bay window to replace that scalloped siding stuff. It's gonna look sick. It's gonna look slightly modern, slightly rustic. It's just gonna tie in perfectly with that stone and everything else that we're doing here. It's gonna be beautiful. Stop talking about it, let's move it. Okay. <laughs> Rebar, locked in for justice. Gotta love that. Cedric, is this gonna be strong enough? There you go. That's what. I, <laughs> that's what I like to hear. I like how uh, he's he got it welded all together. So uh, a little tack weld here. 
holds it all in place till the concrete's poured. Probably a little bit easier than uh, tying it all off, right? A little bit, love that. And now check this out. We got the fire pit going in, getting formed right now. Let's see what we got. If you remember from one of our uh, somewhat previous, somewhat recent jobs, uh, we did a circular fire pit, poured concrete, built the forms out of uh, wood. I didn't realize you could just buy a 30 inch sonotube. We could have gotten a 30 inch and a 36 inch sonotube. <laughs> Would have been super easy. We didn't know that, so now we do. This is gonna be pretty sweet because we got square pit on the outside. We're gonna have a circle form on the inside. So it's gonna be really, it's gonna be really nice. The outside is gonna match our outside perimeter walls, and then nice little center circle detail. It's gonna be pretty sick. How many yards we got coming today? Just three. Three yards. You got any? You got a good concrete tip for us? We don't have time. <laughs> we got no time. All right, we got creek coming. We got creek coming. That That's. <laughs> Creek coming. I don't gotta get uh, all worked up because I ain't pouring the creek today. So I'm gonna just sit back and enjoy this. But he's got the creek coming. We got a sense of urgency today. Fire pit wall. Let's go. Creek's here. Hey, creek's here. Creek's here. Keep it spinning. We're going with a, we're, we're gonna go with a six slump on this. Oh, six. What, yeah. what are we doing on the walls of the fire pit? Just gonna be concrete. concrete. Yeah, yeah. Six, is six is good for that. Yeah, you're gonna get a get a good vibrator in there. Oh yeah, just really. Woo! Wiggle the wiggle the bubbles out. Oh yeah. Here's that secret we were telling you about with the smooth walls. We got some foam insulation board on the inside of our form. The inside is where it's gonna be exposed for the step down, so we want that nice and smooth. It's a little trick I didn't know about, but that's why we got the pros here. My man! kind of nice being on this side of it. It's not that stressful for me. You can see the stress happening. That's what the creek does to you. It's learning. Learning here. We getting this going right here. We had a little little patch job over in this corner where we had to cut out for the helical pile. Hit it with the mag. I'm hitting it with the with the steel now. Get it get it nice and flat. We'll see what Cedric thinks of my my little handiwork here. Don't get too close here. I mean, this is just this is a little patch job here.
exciting. Exciting stuff right here. <laughs> I should have been a creek guy. I knew I should have been a creek guy. You still can be, brother. That's right, with that attitude, that's right. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Crete's down. <laughs> the Crete's getting hard. Crete's hard. Yeah, Crete's hard. What do you got for us? Not too much, man. <laughs> <laughs> After that. <laughs> the work speaks for itself. Look at this. I don't want to touch it. I can't touch it yet, right? No touch it. Look at this. Look at these crisp corners. That's fire. Pit. That's fire pit. We're gonna have a nice bowl in here. I'm really glad that we decided to go with the square outside, the circle inside. It's really unique. I think it really sets it off. That was Cedric's idea. I was gonna do uh, just a square, square inside. I really like this. It's gonna look awesome with a fire bowl in there. And uh, we're gonna have this nice little sunken fire pit area. We'll have pergola top. We'll have the lights in there. Forget about it. What do we call this finish here? It's like a rosé swirl. Rosé swirl. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to give it a nice uh, nice texture on it. So this is going to be an area where you walk. You don't want it too slippery. So we didn't want it, you know, that, that nice smooth trout finish. It's got that nice rosé swirl. So it's going to get some traction and uh, looks dope. Cha! <laughs> got, got. <laughs> Where's your, where's your cut? <laughs> <laughs>
because I was right about something. Ooh. <laughs> What's the matter? The this, edge kicked up. The edge is kicked up because it's not, you know, this, this part's supposed to go down. You know what I mean? I love being right. <laughs> what? We, this should go down an inch and or three quarters. Oh, because it's the edge. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Catherine, I'm always right. <laughs> Everybody just beat up on Sean on his birthday. <laughs> What we're using for the pergola roof here is this power ram easy glaze system it's uh super easy it's an overlapping system so two foot on center goes over top of your rafter and the thing that i really like about this that we haven't seen before in a polycarbonate panel is see it's full thickness so it's not like a double walled full thickness so when you put it on there it looks like glass and uh, it's obviously tinted so it's going to cut out most of the sunlight give you really good shade and give you a dry space underneath. So uh, we're excited to get it up and excited to see how it looks. Got a tennis elbow situation I'm uh, working through. Can't really lift the saw like this. Anybody ever have that? Looks like a real pickle here. Can you reach from there, right? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, okay. You're big. He's huge, this guy. I want to be like Ant when I grow up. Uh, the assistant pergola installer. What? Can I be the assistant pergola installer? What? Can I be the assistant pergola installer? Yeah, can I be the assistant pergola installer? Sure, you're the assistant to the pergola. Come on, I'm trying to tee up for that. What? Yes, I'm trying to tee up for that. You gotta turn towards the camera and say it. I'm in a position, I'm very vulnerable right now. I'll support you. What? Yeah, can I be the assistant pergola installer? Yeah, sure. You're supposed to say assistant to the pergola installer. I thought you, I said that. And you yeah, but you were saying it like over there. You weren't like say, delivering it in like oh, a, okay. you know, a good way. All right. Hey, can I be the assistant pergola installer? Is that really what you want to be? Yeah. You're more like the assistant to the pergola installer. Oh yeah. Did you film that whole thing? You guys did a good job setting these posts. What was that? You guys did a really good job setting these posts. It's the same number off the columns. 166 and three quarters, 166 and three quarters. Very, very, very impressed by them. Any tokens? Yeah, you got a handful. Oh, wow. The team did it. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right, I'll, I'm gonna go home, I guess, and celebrate. Good. Thanks, Ant. deserve it. Appreciate it. Yeah, we made sure they were locked in for justice and right on the number, so uh, moving right along here, building out our pergola column, the light kind of structure. Sort of a decorative feature to hang some string lights more than anything, but it's really gonna give this ambiance to the sunken fire pit area. The fire pit surround is basically done. Concrete's curing up a little bit still, but uh, check this out. Cedric knocked it out of the park. Ooh, beautiful finish on that. So uh, over the next couple days, this will be curing a little more. It'll whiten up and it'll just look really nice. So uh, next step, Ant's working on putting these up. 
and uh, I guess I'll stay out of his way. After that, I can start backfilling around here because next week Cedric's gonna come back and we're gonna pour these little concrete pads around the outside, these little fingers, I'm calling them. Uh, it's gonna be sick. One more time for me, Ant. You did a great job, bud. Thanks, man, I appreciate it. We got a lot of progress done here. We've got the roof up, we've got the UFP edge up, we've got uh, the back concrete getting wrapped up, curing as we speak, and now we're onto some of the hardscape. We've got some cave merge going down here. We're gonna have to wait for the next vlog for us to get into all of this hardscaping. We've got a very simple but elegant modern design going down with these pavers. So make sure you hit subscribe, stay tuned. And until next time, this has been Premier Outdoor Living. Is it good? Ah!